Hello, my name is Rocket, and welcome to a brand new series, a brand new Nuzlocke. We're here to start out the Pokemon Hardcore, Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Trash Lock. So, Pokemon Emerald Trash Lock is a ROM hack of, of Pokemon Emerald. It's basically vanilla Emerald, but you get to use worse Pokemon, I guess. Pokemon with less viability, Pokemon with worse stats, and Pokemon that people usually don't even consider using in Nuzlocke's or in just any Pokemon game or playthrough because they are not that good. And this is a Nuzlocke I've been trying to do for a little while. I think it's a it's a cool uh, cool idea. That's it's still vanilla emerald, right? You still face the same trainers and the same gym leaders, but you get to use Pokemon, different Pokemon. It makes the makes the Pokemon Emerald experience a little bit fresh and new, a little bit more challenging, which I think is really cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be starting this Nuzlocke today. For the rules. Uh, we can only catch the first Pokemon of each new location. If a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and you cannot use it for the rest of the run. We cannot use items in battle. We need to play on set mode. We need to use level caps for the Gym Leader and the Elite Four. In Gym Battles, we can only use the same amount of Pokemon as the enemy Gym Leader. This is a rule I usually like to add because in the anime, usually when Ash or someone, uh, I guess Ash, uh, fights a Gym Leader, one of the rules is that they need to use the same amount of Pokemon that the enemy gym leader is going to be using. So imagine if Roxanne is going to be using three Pokemon, I can only use three Pokemon. I like this rule because it makes the game a little bit more challenging as well, even more than what it already is, right? Because I'm uh, limiting myself to less Pokemon, and it means that every Pokemon I take to them, I take to a gym fight, it needs to be very valuable, and I need to play very well with them because I have less room for error. Uh, and the final rule is that we need to fight every single trainer in the game. I usually miss one or two, I guess, but um, it's totally fine. Um, the idea is to fight as many trainers as possible in every route and whatnot. And yeah, if you want to check out the rules, they're always going to be on the description below. And with that said, let us start this Nuzlocke. I'm pretty excited. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. New game. So I'm pretty sure that starting dialogue is a little bit different, so let's see what, uh, what we have here. So hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the Emerald Trash Lock Edition. The goal of this hack is to remove all good Pokemon. So only stuff like this is left. And we get an unknown. Feel free to play any way you like, but it is optimized for Nuzlocking. That's why we're here. Make sure to check the documentation for further info. If you'd like to know more about the creator of this hack, you can follow his stream at twitch.tv slash Pokemon Challenges. So yeah, this um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but this trash lock this ROM hack is developed by Pokemon Challenges. You can also join this Discord to talk with another people, with other people uh, playing this hack. Discord.gg slash pchow. Yeah, I hope you have a lot of fun with this game. And the rest is just normal dialogue. So, because in the Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke we played as the girl character, I think I'm gonna pick the boy this time. I'm gonna name myself Dan. And with that, uh, we're just gonna try to speed up a little bit because, you know, this is normal Emerald dialogue that we don't really care about. So let's go ahead and do our clock. Let's see what time it is. It's 6, okay. So 6 p.m. basically. Something like this. All right. With that, we can go outside. And we gotta meet May, right? And yeah, we actually have new stars. Um, everything basically that you get is changed this game. So the stars are also different. We have Sunkern, Slugma, and Goldeen as your starters. Now, usually when I pick my starter, I pick one depending on what my trainer ID ends, which is a two. It actually would have been Sunker, but two of these starters are not viable, and I'm going to talk about them right now. So starting out, we have Sunkern. This is the one I'm going to be picking. Sunkern, even though it only has 30 base on each on each stat, um, it's a guaranteed grass type you get, which means it's already going to be decently helpful for Roxanne, right? Um, it's also fine. I'm not really sure if you get a Sunstone for a Sunflora, but a Sunkern can be quite useful in the early game because, you know, usually the early game and the mid game is the hardest part of a Nuzlocke because you have less encounters, you have less to play with, and, you know, um, it can it's usually usually not the most viable Pokemon um, to, to, to fight against a Gym Leader or something. So getting a guaranteed Grass type is really good. And, uh, yeah, it's not that helpful, I guess, going to Brawly or, or Watson if you don't have a Sunstone, but... I'm not really sure if you, where you get a Sunstone and Pokemon Emerald Vanilla, but uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how well we can do in Sunkern. Next up, we have Slugma. So Slugma, I like Slugma, but 
it, it, I'm pretty sure it has Yawn starting out as well, which is pretty good. Uh, pretty good move, but he's just so... Not a very good fire type to begin with. And he, get, he evolves so, so late. So he evolves at level 35, right? Into a Macargo. And the level cap for Winona, by the way, which is the 6th gym leader of this game, is 33. So you can only get a Macargo for the 7th gym leader of this game. That is so crazy late. It's just not worth it. Slugma just gets completely... Um, you know, destroyed. It's just not going to be helpful. It's not helpful for Roxanne, so you might as well just go for Sunken, right? And then you have Goldeen. Goldeen is water type that does learn any water type moves until like late 30s, which I think he learns Waterfall, right? So it just makes it super less viable. It doesn't help you against Roxanne or anyone really because it's just so weak. I guess it helps you against Brawly because it has Peck. But if you if you can't get past Roxanne with good Pokemon, right, or without losing too many Pokemon, you're gonna have some trouble. And I'm using another rule, right, that I can only bring the same Pokemon as the enemy gym leader. So I can only bring three Pokemon to Roxanne. If if the if the three Pokemon can't do anything to the rock types, I'm gonna have some trouble, right? So we're gonna go with the guaranteed grass type, which is Sunkern. And yeah, I'm gonna see how this does. So we're gonna to fight the Zigzagoon, which is one speed EV. I usually like to keep track of my EVs, so my Pokemon are optimized on their strengths. And with that, we can go back to the lab. And I usually like to name my Sunkern Aural. I used this before in my Pokemon Fire Red Omega Hardcore Nuzlocke, and I had a lot of fun with it. No, not Aural. Arler? Aural. Okay. And with that, we need to go fight May. Now, the problem that this is Vanilla Emerald, right, is that May is it's not going to have Slugma. It's going to have the Torchic. So we do need to do some grinding. Our only move is, is Absorb until, like, level 13 or something. So, oof. This is also a Calm Nature. Calm is... Plus Special Defense and Minus Attack. Plus Special Defense is going to be probably just useless because most of the trainers we fight are physical attackers. And the Minus Attack doesn't really matter, I guess, because... Um, we, we, you know, we are, we are Grass types, so we're going to be using Special Attacks. But yeah, we, there's no real way of us beating the Torchic at level 5. So we're going to need to grind a little bit. Um, this is Route 101, and because we got Sunkern on Route 101, it says right there, it counts as the Pokemon that we caught in this location, so unfortunately, in Pokemon Emerald, we cannot catch a Pokemon in the first route. We can only catch a Pokemon Route 103, right? I think this one is 103. But we have no Pokeballs yet, we still need to defeat May. I'm gonna have to do some grinding, we have some Rattatas here. I'm gonna try to beat, and that's another Speed EV. And uh, Centred is Attack EV, so I don't want that. I'm just going to try to beat Rattatans or Zigzagoon. There's a 60% chance we find Rattatan, a 30% chance we find Zigzagoon, and a 10% chance for Sentret. Okay, that's going to be two speed EVs, and we learn Growth. I'm going to probably level 9 or 10, because it's, you know, it's it's Sunkern. I don't even know how we're going to beat it. Zigzagoon can fight. And yeah, okay, that's another speed EV. That's three. Okay, four, five, okay, six, I'm, I usually cut the grinding out, but since we're just starting out, I'm not, I don't really want to cut, so seven, and eight, one more level I feel like, or even ten, ugh, it's just like, how do we beat the Torchic? Uh, level nine, I guess. Oh, the nine speed EVs, I mean. Nine, right? Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Alright. Thirteen. Okay. We'll try level nine. Fourteen. Okay, I'm gonna put plus fourteen speed EVs. Let's see if you can beat the Torchic. Oh god. Um, so the Nuzlocke technically doesn't start until you get Pokeballs. Um, so I'm honestly not sure if I'll restart the run just because I lose the Torchic if we lose. Because, I don't know. It feels kind of annoying. This is the only annoying thing of picking Sunkern I feel like. Because Goldina has Peck, right? So you just demolish Trico. And I get- and Slugma has Smog and Yawn, so I'm not really sure. Level 9, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So you can beat the Torchic. Level 5, we're gonna Growth once, and we're just gonna... Yeah, we do... 
absolutely no damage. We need some luck. Like, he needs to spam a little bit of growl. Okay, we won first strike. <laughs> That's good. So Torchic is a special attack EV that we're gonna be getting. So plus one special attack. With that, we went through the hard part of picking Sunkern, which is beating this Torchic. And now we can heal our Pokemon. I feel like I already picked... Um, I already picked up... Um, oh, I need to... Okay, it's just fine. Just give me a sec. Ten minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, we already got the potion. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and go to here so we can get our Pokeballs and start out doing stuff. So now we have Pokeballs and Nuzlocke has started. So let's go ahead and get the running shoes and let's go catch something. So like I said, in Route 101 we can't really catch anything. But going through the encounters, if you are not doing it, if you count this, the start as a static encounter, Rattata is insane. If this guy, if this Pokemon has guts, it's like an S tier encounter. I have no idea how this is considered a bad Pokemon uh, by Pokemon challenges. This Pokemon is is just so good. It learns Hyper Fang, which does a lot of damage. If this has uh, guts, you're just you're just set. Like I'm pretty sure you can just beat the whole Nuzlocke with this Rattata. Like it's just so good. Zigzagoon is another really good Pokemon. I actually don't know. I, I don't agree at all. So Zigzagoon learns Headbutt quite early. Headbutt is a 70 base move with Stab because it's also a normal type move. And it has pickup ability, which means you get a lot of free berries and like other items. It's it's just so good. I don't understand how Zigzagoon is counted as a trash Pokemon. Finally, we have Sentra. That one I understand. I don't like Sentra that much. I'm not really sure if it has pickup, but it's just, I guess, a really, it doesn't learn any like good moves as well, right? So, I guess Sentred is the bad Pokemon. Um, I don't agree with Rattata and Zigzagoon being trash Pokemon. They're extremely good. So, Rattata 103 has the same encounters as Rattata 101. So, we're either be getting a 60% Rattata, 30% Zigzagoon, or 10% Sentred. I'm going to be really happy with either the Rattata or the Zigzagoon. So, okay, we get the Zigzagoon. Um, we don't kill this, right? There's no... Oh, I'm just going to throw a Pokeball. We have five. Come on. I'm really happy with this Pokemon. This Pokemon is really, really good. Nice. First try. So we get Rocket, the Zigzagoon. Nice. This Pokemon is extremely good. I, I don't understand. I actually don't. This Pokemon is so good. So we get a Zigzagoon. It has a lax nature. It has the pickup ability. So, so good. So lax is what? I still don't know all the natures. Plus the fence and minus special defense. Um... I guess it's 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 not good, but it's not bad. You know, it's like eh, whatever. With that though, we can get another encounter right here on Route 102. In Route 102, we have a 60% chance for Hoot Hoot, a 30% chance for Ledaba, and a 10% chance for Skitty. So Hoot Hoot is pretty good. I don't understand again. He learns Hypnosis really early into the game, and he learns Reflect, which I guess is not as good in, uh, as uh, is not as good as getting. So, oh my god. So let me let me restart. So Hoot Hoot, I, I lie because he learns Hypnosis early and he learns Reflect. So in this game specifically, I guess having Reflect is not that good because you can buy Reflect. I'm not sure if Pokemon challenges... I'm pretty sure he he denies us access to the Pokemon Game Corner. So basically the casino where you can buy TMs. But I'm not sure if he denies us access from Lily Cove's uh, Pokemon where you can actually buy TMs like Protect, Reflect, Light Screen, and Safeguard. So if he denied that, having a free Reflect is really good. If he didn't deny that, I feel like Reflect is, I guess, uh, a little bit not as valuable as other games, right? Because you don't get Reflect for free in other games. So I definitely think Hoodoo is the best Pokemon you can get here again. I think it's, he's really, he is actually really good. He's a nice bulky Pokemon. He's a normal fly, he gives immunity to ground. I think it's pretty good. But then you have Ledaba Ledaba. I haven't used personally, but apparently it's like really bad. No one likes Sledaba, apparently. I actually like the design. I think it looks cool. Um, and then you have Skitty. Skitty is actually okay, but still not as not good. Definitely Hoot Hoot is the best. And we have a 60% chance for Hoot Hoot, so... Let's see if we can get one. Okay, really good. I'm liking my encounter so far. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest. Pokeball, go! If we fail this, I'm gonna put it pretty low, but... Ideally, we just catch it. Okay. Absorb a little bit. Okay, let's try to catch it. Come on. I used this before, again, on my Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. I really liked it. It was pretty good. Nice, we got the Hoot Hoot. I'm gonna name it Hedwig. And with that, we got our first few encounters before we fight this, the first, um, the first dude. 
And I'm probably gonna- I'm gonna need to grind a little bit, um, because my Pokémon are pretty low. It has a serious nature. Serious is a neutral nature, which means we don't get plus or minus anything. And yeah, I'm, I like this a lot. So I'm gonna need to grind a little bit. I'm thinking level seven, six, seven. Um, I think seven. So I'm gonna be doing a pause here, and I'll be right back once my Pokémon are grinded up. I'll see you in just a little bit. Bye bye. All right, welcome back. I just put them at level six. I forgot to heal, so let's just heal up. Um, for the first fight, we're going to be using Rocket because it's a Puchiana with an attack EV. We're going to try to move on a little bit through the game. We found, with Pickup actually, in case you're curious, we found a uh, Great Ball and we found an Escape Robe. <laughs> so we have those items. Also need to buy some Pokeballs. Let's do that in case we get more encounters and I don't have enough Pokeballs. So we can buy 16, I'll buy 8. So we have 10. Okay. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and fight the first trainer. Like I said, it has an attack EV, so we're going to be using Rocket. Has level 5 Puchana. We have plus defense, so I think we're fine. Easy peasy. That's gonna be plus 1 attack EV for 6 and good. Alright, next trainer has 2 worm pulls, which is 2 HP EVs. So we're gonna be using Hedwig. He wants those EVs, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. And just spam some tackle. Oh, I forgot to put on. Uh, I, usually do, I usually forget to do this, but it doesn't really count that well. Um, I usually forget. Put the options fast, the battle scene on, battle style set mode, and I like to use- oh, I like to use a green one, because this is Omega. I, I didn't really switch, so it kind of counts as set, right? So, I, this usually happens on every single Nuzlocke, but, um, that's plus 2 H- oh, wrong pen. That's plus 2 HP for Hoot Hoot, or Hedwig, and with that, let's go heal. And now that we have it on set mode, even better. So, boom. Next trainer. Next trainer, next trainer. Has a Zigzagoon and a Taylor, which is speed. We're gonna try to use Rocket. In case we need backup, we have Sunkern or Aural. Let's go ahead and do that. Shouldn't be that hard. Should be this trainer right here. So, Tackle. They growled me, which is a little bit annoying. We missed Tackle too. Level 3, which should be fine. Ooh, okay, that was actually a lot of damage. It's going to be plus two speed EVs for Zigzagoon. Alright. With that, this is a new round? Alright. We got some berries, we got two free orange berries, and we get two free Pichu berries that prevents poisoning. And Rocket has an item for me, a potion! Thank you, Rocket! You see? Very, very cool. Oh, this trainer! What does this trainer have? Zigzagoon Shroomish. Oh, this is actually fine, I just forgot to heal. Okay. Growl, growl, good, growl, good, perfect. And Shroomish will go on to Hedwig, and we'll just tackle. Okay, good. That's actually end up working really well. It's going to be plus one speed, and plus one HP for Zigzagoon, and plus one HP for Hoot Hoot. Eevee is currently perfect. Alright, with that, is this an. Is this. Does this all count as round 100? And two? Yeah, this all counts as around 102, so you can't get an encounter, right? Because you got Hedwig from there. Okay, then. So you reach this place. Oh, there's also an item down here. Let's pick that up. Another potion. Great, great, great. So now we gotta go in here, right? And talk to do this guy and talk about Wally, you know, just the usual. Uh, and he's gonna find a roll somehow. There's no rolls here, Wally. Stop hacking, dude. You gotta catch, you gotta catch uh, a Hoot Hoot, come on, or a Letaba, what are you doing? With that though, you can get a new encounter right here on Route 104, right? Route 104, we can get a new encounter. We have a 60% chance for Hopip, a 30% chance for Huchiana, and a 10% chance for Sandshrew. So Hopip, Hopip is actually really good. It has a sleep pattern and leech sheet. Sure, the stats aren't that good, but for early game, Hopip is insane. Uh, but yeah, I do understand why it's on the trash log. Puchiana. Puchiana, I understand why it's on a Gen 3, specifically Trash Log, because Puchiana is a pure Dark type that doesn't have very good special attack. Uh, because, you know, all, all Dark type moves in Gen 3 are special, so I do understand why Puchiana is here. I still think he's a fine Pokemon. At, at Evolution, he learns Intimidate, which is a really good ability in Nuzlocke, so it has the, you know, Intimidate just um, destroys the opponent's attack. 
and then you have Senshu. So Senshu, I understand why he's here. He doesn't learn any good moves. So ideally, I actually don't want a Senshu. Sure, it's good for the immunity against uh, against Electro type. So I guess yes, it could be useful for Watson. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to be using him too much. So I don't know. Maybe we could get him just for Watson. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see what we get. We do have enough Pokeballs and stuff. Let's see what we get. So I do, I do honestly like Hop Up. I think Leech Sheet Sleep Powder early game is really good. We do get the Hop Up. So I'm actually fine with this. So, oh, Tackle Crit. Maybe kills. I'm just going to go for a Pokeball here. You can catch a Hop Up. Nope. All right, we're going to Tackle again. No Crit. It's Synthesis. Okay, another Tackle. Another A Crit Tackle does kill, so we don't want to risk that. We have 10 balls. Should be enough to catch the Hop Up. Come on. I actually like the hop-up, like I said. Another grass type this can be really useful for Roxanne as well. I'm not really sure what moves it actually has for offensive. But I like to name this Skippy. I think it's a cute little nickname for a hop-up. So, Skip... Skippy. Let's see, Sip Skippy is going to be a quirky nature. That's also neutral, I think, right? Quirky... Quirky is also neutral. It has chlorophyll. And, yeah. it's uh, It also has immunity to ground because it's half-flying. It has splash synthesis... Synthesis. Syn I can't say this word. I can never say this word. Synthesis and tail whip. So it doesn't have any offensive moves. I don't really have my phone with me right now. It's without battery. So I can't really look at its move pool for now. So we're going to have to skip that for a little bit. But we have a new Pokemon added to the team. We have Hoppa. So, so far, I'm actually pretty happy with all of my encounters. So, yeah, unfortunately, I should have probably charged my phone. I don't know when it learns an attacking move, which is unfortunate. But with that, we got another Pokemon added to the team. So round 104, we do have more trainers to beat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we have a youngster. This one doesn't fight me, I'm pretty sure. That one, that's that youngster does. So we have a youngster with a C dot and a tailor, which is the fence and speed. Oof. No one wants the fence. Do you wait, this hop up one? Or this who do one defense? No. No one wants the fence. And then. Maybe any, maybe a Pokemon that we catch once the fence. I'm gonna skip this trainer just for now. I will beat him before the first gym, though. I'll, I'll remember. Oh yeah, the 30% push China. Okay, but we also have this fisherman, right? We have a fisherman that fights this. Fisherman with a magic carp, which is speed, so we can just use rocket. Actually, we should use Aural. Uh, the fisherman as a magic carp, which is one speed EV. Use that for Aural. Plus one speed. What was the level cap for Roxanne? I don't actually remember. Roxanne. Is it here? Level 15. So the uh, level cap is level 15. Okay. So that was a plus one speed. I did add that. Cool. And you're not a trainer. Next trainer, we have a... Uh, oh, not here. Zigzagoon, which is speed. We'll just use Zigzagoon ourselves. We have some more berries, two Orin, really good. And we have two Peaches, really nice. So let's fight you. And just spam Tackle. Crit, that was how much? Three... Three, four, seven damage. Crit is 14, we're still alive. Okay, we'll just kill it. That's going to be 2 plus 1 speedy for Zigzagoon. Plus 1. Alright. And then we need to go through Petalburg Woods, which means we get a new encounter. Hell yeah. So we're going to have to switch train hop up. I'm not sure when it learns Absorb. It should learn Absorb, right? I guess level 8, level 9 or something. But entering Petalburg Woods, we get a new encounter. There's a 60% chance for Spinarak, a 30% chance for Weedle, and a 10% chance for Venonat. Uh, for Venonat. Ideally, I actually want the Venonat. I honestly think Venonat is fine. It learns Sleep Powder, which is pretty good. And it, what other moves does it does learn? It learns Psychic, I, I think, through Level Up. But it, it, had, it had a bulky, a bulky setup, which I honestly like. I, I actually don't mind having a Venomoth. Obviously, it's not the best Pokemon in the world, right? Stats are not that good. Move pool isn't that great, but I feel like it's still fine with sleep pattern stuff. I'm pretty sure it has compound ice too, right? Maybe not. I, th I don't think Venomoth has it. Uh, Weedle is pretty bad. Um, Beedrill has no good moves. Um, so yeah, Beedrill is definitely the no-no in this. 
And Spinarag, I have no idea how good it is. I, it's an interesting typing, but poison though. It's four times resistant to to Brawly, so fighting. So I guess both both getting both Spinarag or Weedle would be fine for Brawly specifically. It gives you kind of a good time because of four times resistant to fighting time moves. But Venonat could also be useful, I guess. I just rather have a Spinarag than a than a Beedrill, I think. And then Venonat is fine. Let's see what we get though. Come on, not the Weedle. <laughs> Just that, not the Weedle. Spinarak, Venonad, whatever. <laughs> of course it gives me the Weedle. Let me tackle this, I'm not really sure. Let's throw a Pokeball at it. Doesn't work. Um, I think Hedwig has less attack. Crit doesn't kill. Okay. Pokeball, go! Alright, we got the Weedle. Still okay. Um, Hairy Bug Pokemon? Lame this stinger. I guess it's still fine. Um, it, it, it will be helpful for Brawly, I'm pretty sure. But it has very, it doesn't have very good moves. It doesn't learn anything too good. It has a lonely nature. Um, plus attack and minus defense. Not the the minus defense kind of hurts, but the plus attack is. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 you know, it's... Eh, eh. Oh, man, oh, nah, why didn't you come earlier? It's so cute. I wanted one. Uh, but no, we got the Weedle. We didn't even find a 60% chance to spin around. But, oh well. Um, there we go. We got our another encounter. We're currently... Like, 30 minutes in? I'll play a bit longer. We can play through, like... I, I usually like to do in 40 minutes to an hour, so... We'll do a little bit more. We reach this area, so we have the trainers in Pedalburg. Pedalburg Woods. Trainer with Wormpool and Kata, which is HP and defense. Again with the defense. I think I get bad EVs to Stinger, because I don't think he's going to be that useful. But he's our only Buck type, Buck Poison. <sighs> but I think. You give the defense to him. We'll give uh, Stinger the bad EVs. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Level 3, we should be fine. And then this one. I think we're still fine. Oh my god, what is this? This is not anything like I said. Do, not, do I not have the trainers? I should. Metal bird woods. Something is wrong. This guy has like 15 worm pulls. What? I'm not really sure. I'm a bit confused. Okay, I have no idea. So that does 3 damage, screwed the 6. We're gonna have to switch here. It's Wormpulse, so it's HP. I'll go into Headwig. Okay, just a ton of Wormpulse, I guess. So it's full HP EVs. Really... Uh, oh, I, I feel like... I think I forgot to put the Pedalberg Ganners, but that's still plus 2 HP for, for Hutu. And I guess Weedle got plus 2, but... Got plus 2 HP... But, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use Stinger or not. Pick up! What do you have for me? Boom! Another escape probe. Okay, not the best, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, I don't know the Pedalberg Woods Encounter... Uh, trainers... The EVs... Oh god, what am I doing? I'm pretty sure we need to find a Team Magma or something. He has level 9 Kuchana, right? I think he's next, no? Yeah. I feel... I think it was level 9. Oh my god, another Venonat. I'll use Rocket Ride, and we'll give it an Ormberry. And I think we should be fine as backup. We will bring Stinger. Okay. Let's go. It's level 9, I think. Yeah. So Tackle. It Howled. It Sand Attacked. One more? Nope. One more? Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job, Rocket. Plus one attack. Easy. All right, pretty great. 
You also get a gray ball for this, which is pretty cool. And let's see, pick up... Oh, no, right, because we gave you the orange berry. Okay, that's fine. So you also got a trainer here with double Nankata, right? I'm gonna skip this trainer for now as well, just in case we get a Pokemon with defense. Not too sure for now, so... Just in case we end up not being able to dodge him. Okay. Now I have the Spinarak. We have Aether, which is pretty cool. Alright, other side, around 104, we get a nice uh, TM9 Bullet Seed. We get two Orin Berries, which is pretty cool. We get two Cherry Berry that prevents Paralysis. This is around 104. We already have around 104 encounter. Here we go. So, okay, there's some more stuff we can get here. Pokeball, Potion, and there's a third item that we can get here, I feel like. There we go, Super Potion. For that, we can leave. There's also a girl that appears here sometimes, I think. That gives you a white herb. She's not here, though, so we'll keep moving. Pretty sure the next trainer has a Zigzagoon. So, I'm going to probably use a potion. I want this to be full HP. At five. I think we're fine. Alright, let's fight you. Zigzagoon, we're gonna... Can we hit a tackle? We missed two tackles! How crazy is that? That's another speedy V, and we get Headbug! Look, we had Headbug at level 9! It's 70 base with Stab! How, what? How is this a bad Pokemon? It's so good! Plus one speed for Zigzag. It's so good! We get a 70 base damage that flinches enemies with Stab, 100 accuracy. How is this a bad Pokemon? You get infinite berries with Pickup. How is this a bad Pokemon? Pokemon challenges, please explain. It's so good. Okay, um, next trainer. This is around 104, so I do have the documentation, I think. So we have Lotad, Shroomage, which is HP and Special Defense. We're gonna use Hedwig for this one. All right, go Hedwig. Kill the Lotad. And then the Shroomish. Should be fine, it's only absorbing. Okay, come on. One more good. It's going to be... Hoot Hoot. Plus one special defense, and plus one HP. Then we have a double battle, right? Double battle has C dot and low tide, which is defense and special defense. Horrible. Uh, there's a way to skip this trainer. We're gonna be doing that. I want to skip this trainer for now as well. We haven't gotten all of our encounters. We'll defeat those trainers though uh, before we challenge Roxanne. I'm not. We're not gonna beat Roxanne today, but um, so the way you skip that trainer is you only have one Pokemon on your team. So, we'll keep... I guess Sunkern's our starter, so... What was the... We got Sunkern, then we got Zigzagood, then we got Hoo Hoo, then we got Hop Up, and then we got Finger. So this is the way you skip the double. Oh, it's actually very good to skip the doubles. Yeah, in case you get a Smurgle. Oh, yeah! Uh, this is the only thing we'll do. I'm going to be skipping every single double battle, just in case you get a Smurgle, because it's the easiest way to get the moves, right? Um, I feel like... Oh, we fought this guy. Yeah. So, that's the only thing we'll do that's not fighting trainers for now. And it's just in case we get a Smurgle. Because I feel like that's the easiest way to teach him moves. We can skip that trainer. Good. So, yeah, every double battle we will skip for now. Because it's it's the easiest way to teach Smurgle moves that we want. We fought this guy. Now you can't fight this double battle because you only have one Pokemon. And that's how you skip it. And then this final trainer has triple Magikarp, which is three speed EVs. I guess we'll use Sunkern, and we'll just use Absorb Spam. Okay, nice. And we get some more berries. We got two Cherry Berries and two Lepa Berries. And with that, we have Rustboro City. There's a Pokeball here to exit the fence. We get one more encounter, I feel like. So let's go back over here. I gotta remember that every time I need to pass through there, I need to remove uh, my Pokemon. There we go. So now we reach Rustboro City. There's no new encounters here. We can get a fossil. I actually, I think fossils are banned. I think you remove them. Uh, route 115. There's no grass. We can't get an encounter here yet. But we can go to uh, two more locations, actually. actually route 116. So, right 116, where are you? There's a 60... Oh, we're gonna skip this encounter, because we get a guaranteed unknown in a lot of places. And if you get a known here, it's gonna be horrible. So, we're gonna skip right 116 encounter, which means we need repels. 
I'm not really sure what the highest level Pokemon in this thing is. Do I know? I don't remember if I put it down because I'm pretty sure I wanted to skip this encounter as well in my Pokemon Emeralds. 11? Oh no, that's Grand Cave. Oh, we're just around 106, by the way. Or 116. I think we're fine. I think it was level 9 or something. Um, we do need to buy some repels. We want to skip that encounter because uh, in round 116 you get a 60% chance for unknown. And I, like I said, you get guaranteed unknown in so many locations because uh, the um, the why not that you get from the the you know, Flannery's Gym, you know that city? I don't remember the, the name right now. Laverage? I don't remember. It gives you, instead of a why not egg, it gives you an, an unknown. Um, there's other locations I haven't known that I can't quite remember, but you get a guaranteed unknown, that's what I'm saying. And we don't want to get an unknown here, there's a 60% chance, so it's the highest chance, you know, the highest percentage to catch an unknown there. And instead, we want to not get an encounter there, so that later we can either catch a 30% chance Ditto, or a 10% chance Smurgle. And Smurgle, I feel like, is insane, actually. I think Smurgle can be really useful. So I have zero, I'll buy eight. Eight should be enough for a while. So let's go ahead and go over here then. And we have round 116. So round 116, we have the bug catcher with Burmple and Cat again. HP and defense, we're gonna skip that for now. And then we have a Machop, which is attack. We'll try to use Rocket, but it's kind of risky. We also have Stinger's backup. Um, I'll give it an Ornberry too. I don't really want to lose Pokemon for now. And I'll give one to Stinger as well again, just so we can fight this guy. So tackle, low kick, yeah. One HP, wow, Stinger. So we'll poison sting this, and this should be a lot easier because he does no damage to four quad resistance. Ooh, oh, we got an evolution. That was really risky. One, one HP. I didn't even realize he takes so much damage. I think it was a crit too, but so that was plus one attack for Zigzagoon and plus one attack for Weedle. That's the beauty of Ornberries. That's why we use them. So we get uh, Kekuna, which is fine. We learn Harden too. Let's go ahead and heal up. That's why you put Thornberries on hard, harder fights. It's still a little, bit, a little bit risky, but honestly, I'll take the 1 HP. I'll take the luck. Why not? So with that, we can move on. And try not to get an encounter. We'll put our highest level Pokemon, which is Arl, and we will repel. Um, I want to end off the episode soon as well. This trainer, what does you what does you have? What does you have? Uh what do you have? Um Shroomish? Don't you have a Meryl? Okay, apparently you have Shroomish. But Meryl's also HP, so we'll go with Hedwig. Okay, you do have a Shroomish. Wow, she put me to sleep, really? Effect score? Okay, we're getting... Okay, we need to switch out. Does Rocket... Rocket went out HP. We'll get into Rocket. Boom. Okay. The effect sport into sleeping was a little bit annoying. So that's plus one HP for Hoot Hoot and plus one HP for Zigzagoon. Okay, okay, okay. Next trainer. Oh yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to use... Sunken for the defensive east because there's a Geodude saying you fight and there's nothing I could do about that. Um, so, like this hiker has a Geodude. Which Pokemon is gonna beat the Geodude? It's gonna have to be Arl. It's this hiker, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So just use Absorb. Boom. So we get plus one defense for Sunkern. Which is fine, we're not gonna use Sunkern that much, and it's it's a I'm honestly okay with that. And they have this guy that has Shroomish Lotad. Which we want to use Hedwig, which is very low. It's repel is still on, so we need to be careful. So we can't really speed up. Okay, we're out. So let's go heal Hoot Hoot. Because you want to use Hoot Hoot on that fight. Because you still get at least one encounter. We skip the, the unknown encounter for now, just in case we don't. So we uh, guarantee that we don't get an unknown here. I'll get that encounter a little bit later, so another repel. Um, 
do you rotate left? No, right? Okay. So we're gonna put Hoot Toot. Right, and you have... Just guarantee Shroomish, low to HP smash lens, right? So now we got paralyzed, that means we can't put be put to sleep. I just need you to attack Hedwig. We have to switch again. Uh I'm gonna use Stinger. Hedwig is just not doing it. Not being the the Shroomish. Hedwig still got plus one HP. And then Weedle got plus one HP and plus one special defense. Okay. We have one final trainer with double Geodude. We're gonna have to use Sunkern. So let's do that. Boom, boom. So much experience. Oh my god. Plus two defense for Sunkern. And that's pretty much it for now. We're gonna get our final encounter here on Rustorf Tunnel. And then I'm pretty sure we'll just end off the episode. The next episode we can do more. We're already at around 15 minutes and I 50 minutes in or something. So rough surf, restart, restart tunnel. I'm really sure. We have uh, there's only two Pokemon. So I'm not really, I'm not really sure about the percentages. There's a Togepi or an Iglybuff. We want the Togepi. I think the Togepi. I mean, do we want the Togepi? It depends. It really depends on if the Lily Cove market is is closed because. Jigglypuff has a lot of HP, so it could be a very good supportive Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it can learn Reflect and Light Screen if you teach it. Um, while Togepi, it's a normal flying, so it gives you immunity to ground. It's a good special defender, but we already have Hedwig. Honestly, whatever comes. Oh, we got Pickup. What do you got? Escape Rope again. Oh my god, Rocket. You and the Escape Ropes. So, let's see what we get, I guess. Um, I think we still have the, the Repel. So, yeah, whatever we get, I'm honestly gonna be fine with. I'm not really sure what I want. So we get the Iggly buff. This is fine. Let's see if we can catch you. No, we cannot. Um, how do I not do damage to you, but I still do damage to you? You're very weak, aren't you? Just gonna try to throw some balls. We got the Iggly buff. Honestly, fine with. Um, like I said, it, it really depends if this is gonna be better than, than a Togepi or not. The thing is, Togepi learns Encore, which is insane. That's also something I need to keep, keep our count on. So I guess Togepi would have been better. You get Encore, I'm pretty sure, right? By level up. Um, Iggybuff, or I guess Jigglypuff does not learn it. Jigglypuff definitely has worse moves. So I guess, uh, so yeah, I, I do think that J Togepi might be the better encounter, just because you get Encore. It also depends if you get Hustle. If you get Hustle, it's really annoying. But, oh well. We got cute charm, which is pretty good, and we got serious nature, which is neutral. That's gonna be all of our encounters for today. So, uh, a good starting episode. We got a lot of uh, how to repel. We got a lot of a lot of stuff done, I guess. We fought you. So we're still missing a few trainers that we need to beat. Um, but I'm gonna do. We're gonna. Oh, I think we just beat all the trainers very quickly. Oh, there's a lot of them. I think I'll do this next episode. So, so look, what do I have with this team? What do I really have to use against Roxanne? If I didn't pick Sunker. I think you learn gr gr Absorb, I guess, but you're half flying. Uh, does that mean I'm super effective, or... Uh, does it mean, like, this rock move neutral or super effective? That's scary, right? And then... Any other Pokemon doesn't do that much damage. I guess Rocket with Hotbug can still be useful, but... You know, I wanted special attackers. I have nothing, right? Um, so yeah, this is going to be our encounters. I guess we can evolve this. Isn't it by happiness? I think I think we can evolve this before next episode starts, so we get a jelly puff. But oh, oh, we get charm. That's also really good. I'm pretty sure Togepi also learns charm. The charm is two stages of reduction of attack. That's really good. That's really really good. That's actually really really good. This can be really, this can be really useful, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's a few Pokemon I need to level up through, uh, through. Oh my God, through Switch, which is gonna be a little bit annoying. But I feel uh, I'm pretty happy with most of our encounters. Uh, I kind of preferred the Venonat. With Venonat, we get Confusion, I think, that would, which would help against Roxanne. 
And Spinarak learns Nightshade? Maybe? Not this early, right? I'm not really sure about Spinarak's move pool. And then you could have been... I, I'm honestly okay with a Jigglypuff or a Togepi. I think both are, can, both can be usable. So I guess it's the only encounter I'm kind of... A little bit could have been better, but other than that, all my Pokemon are perfect. I have really a really good team sorting out in terms of encounters. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm probably going to do some grinding before next episode. I'm not really sure what, but yeah, um, I really need to look at move pools, uh, stats, and stuff like that. I couldn't really see right now because I don't have my phone because I forgot to charge it. But uh, I'll have it all prepared for next episode. I'm pretty excited to do this Nuzlocke. I think it's a very cool one. I just need to be very, very careful. careful. We can only bring three Pokemon for Roxanne, which is really crazy. Level camp is 15, so we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what we do. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. I had a lot of fun for this first episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the episode. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you next time.